Deep within an ancient forest, hidden from the world, was a forgotten monastery. The people in the nearby village avoided it, saying that those who entered never came back. But one evening, a man, tired of life's illusions, decided to find the truth inside its walls. This man had spent years searching for meaning in a world full of suffering and desire. The stories of the monastery where monks once sought enlightenment drew him in. As he approached, the towering trees seemed to whisper secrets and the path beneath his feet grew increasingly challenging with each step. Yet something deep inside pushed him forward. The monastery was covered in vines, its walls cracked and old, but a strange calm filled the air. The man pushed open the heavy wooden doors and stepped into a dimly lit hall. There he found a single monk, old and frail, sitting in meditation. Welcome seeker, the monk said without opening his eyes. What brings you here? I seek the truth. The man replied, I have traveled far, but all I find in the world is pain and illusions. I have heard this monastery holds the answer. The monk opened his eyes and looked at the man for a long moment. The truth is not something you find, it's something you realize. To see it, you must first face the shadows in your own heart. The monk pointed to a narrow, dark passageway at the back of the hall. Walk the path of your fears and desires. Only then will you find what you seek. The man hesitated, but he knew he couldn't turn back now. He entered the passageway, and the darkness swallowed him. As he walked, the air grew colder, and strange whispers echoed around him. He saw flickering visions of his past, the mistakes he had made, the people he had hurt, the desires that had led him astray. Each vision filled him with fear, but he kept going, determined to reach the end. Suddenly, the passage opened into a large chamber, and the man found himself standing before a big, ornate mirror. In the mirror, he didn't see his reflection, but a younger version of himself. The younger man sneered at him. You think you can find peace by running away? You are nothing without your desires and ambitions. You will always be trapped in this cycle. The man felt a surge of anger and fear. The reflection spoke the truth. He had always been driven by desire always chasing something just out of reach. But now he knew that this was the cause of his suffering. Summoning his courage, the man stepped forward and touched the mirror. The reflection shattered into a thousand pieces and with it the chamber dissolved into darkness. The man was alone, but he felt lighter as if a great burden had been lifted from his soul. As the darkness faded, the man found himself back in the monastery hall. But the monk was gone and in his place stood a statue of the Buddha, serene and smiling. At the base of the statue was a small old scroll. The man unrolled the scroll and read the words. The greatest victory is over oneself. The path to enlightenment lies not in escaping the world, but in overcoming the desires and fears within. The man realized that the monk had been an illusion, a creation of his own mind guiding him toward the truth. The monastery was not a place to escape the world, but a mirror to reflect the battles within. Dear friends, True enlightenment is not found by running away from the world or searching for external truths, but by facing and overcoming the desires, fears and illusions within ourselves. The biggest challenge is to see through the false self and discover the deeper truth that lies beyond.
friends here are four important lessons that this story teaches us lesson number one self-reflection in facing inner fears just as the man had to face his past and desires we must regularly reflect on our actions desires and fears real growth comes from acknowledging our flaws and working to overcome them start a daily meditation practice where you focus on your thoughts and feelings watch them without judgment and ask yourself what desires or fears are driving my actions over time you will gain clarity and control over these inner forces lesson number two understanding desire desire is at the root of much of our suffering Recognizing when desire drives our actions helps us break free from its hold and find inner peace. Identify a recurring desire that causes you stress or unhappiness. For a week, choose not to act on this desire and instead observe how it affects your thoughts and feelings. Notice how your relationship with the desire changes over time. Lesson number three finding peace within peace and enlightenment come not from changing our external circumstances but from transforming our inner world dedicate time each day to sit quietly away from distractions and focus on your breath gently bring your attention back to your breath as thoughts arise in your mind this simple practice helps cultivate inner peace and detachment from the constant pull of the mind's desires. And finally, the lesson number four, embracing self-mastery. The greatest victory is over oneself. Mastery over one's desires, fears and ego leads to true freedom and enlightenment. Set a personal challenge for yourself something that will test your self-discipline it could be fasting a digital detox or any form of restraint the goal is to build the inner strength needed to master your impulses and desires friends by integrating these lessons into daily life we can walk the path of enlightenment not as a distant goal but a experience rooted in self-awareness and inner peace Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. And be sure to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video. Bye bye.